Hey guys, today we are at Niemeyer's Trailer Sales in Albertville, Minnesota, and we have Mitch here. We're going to be checking out the 2023 Arctic Fox 25W travel trailer. Yeah, so walking around the outside here, uh, first of all, this travel trailer, it's going to be just under 30 feet long. And as it sits right now, it's going to be about 7,600 pounds uh, dry weight, so no water or anything in it. So, yeah, starting on the passenger side here, you're actually going to have two entry doors on this model. So this first entry door is going to go kind of into your kitchen area there. Both doors are going to have these more ride flip up steps. So those you're just going to grab. They are hydraulically assisted. So those will just flip up and inside the door there. And then the door will just close over top of them like that. And then when you're ready to fold them out, same thing, just grab them and flip them down. The legs are adjustable, so depending on what type of terrain you're in, if it's on level, um, you can adjust them so that it sits properly. Um, you are going to have your power awning here. That's going to be operated off of a switch inside. Uh, that is going to have an LED light strip on the awning tube itself that runs the entire length of the awning, as well as the uh, porch light just above the door there as well. Uh, down beside the door right here, uh, you're going to have the switch for your power jacks. So um, this particular camper does have the power jacks. That is an option from the factory. Um, standard, it's going to come with your manual scissor jacks. Um, but for these power jacks, this switch right here is going to operate the rear two jacks. So you just hold extend, the jacks will run down. Um, until they're firm to the ground and help stabilize the camper. You are going to have another switch up front that runs the front jacks. So this right here is going to be where you fill your freshwater tank. So it is locked, but you just open that up. There's a cap that you twist off. And you just put your hose right in there and fill your water tank. <clears throat> uh, all Arctic Fox travel trailers are going to come standard with the Goodyear Endurance tires. So pretty much top of the line as far as RV tires go. On the side right here we are going to have storage. So this is going to be actually underneath the dinette inside, but you do have a nice exterior access for that storage right here. Right here we're going to have an outdoor um, 110 volt outlet. So anything you want to plug in out here you can. The camper does have two outside speakers. Um, so those are controlled off of the stereo inside. So you can adjust the indoor and outdoor volume separately, which is really nice. Uh, this is your second entry door. So this is going to enter into the bedroom area. So this is going to be towards the front of the camper. Again, this is gonna have the more ride steps. So those operate the same as the other steps we showed. Um, so you've got those on both doors, which is very nice. Uh, here is the switch for your front power jacks. So again, same as the ones in the rear. You just have a switch for the front and a switch for the rear. You got your nice pass-through storage compartment here. So you are going to have inside here your battery disconnect switch. So what that does is whenever you're not using the camper, you can turn that to the off position so that your batteries are not draining while you're not using the camper. Um, you're also going to have some fuses in here which are labeled so those are going to be for things such as your awning and awning lights so those are nice and easy to access if you ever need to and then this storage compartment in general it does run the entire width of the camper with doors on both sides so you can access that nice big storage compartment from either side coming around the front we are going to have some built-in cap lights those are going to be on a switch inside and then these smaller cap lights, these are actually just going to be controlled right outside here. So nice and bright for if you're ever hitching or unhitching the trailer, you know, during the nighttime. Here we're going to have your power tongue jack. So that makes, again, hitching and unhitching the trailer a lot nicer. That's, that's all power right there. Uh, this camper is going to come standard with two 30-pound propane tanks. Um, it will also have an automatic changeover regulator. So 
basically you can while you're camping you can have both propane tanks open if one of them were to run out it will automatically switch to the other tank seamlessly but while also letting you know that the propane the first propane tank is empty um, so it does come standard with that you have room for two battery boxes on the front tongue here as well So again, here is the other side of that nice pass-through storage compartment. The camper does come with a laundry basket. We'll show you inside there is a bit of a laundry chute, so that's kind of unique. Um, right here, you're going to have an exterior um, solar connection. So the camper does have solar on the roof. However, you can also purchase an additional portable panel that you can set out on the ground and will plug in right there and that will just provide additional solar to help charge your batteries. You're going to have your uh, camper data stickers there, so tire information, gross weight of the camper, um, VIN, things like that. <clears throat> Around on the driver's side here, all of your sewer drains are going to be underneath the camper right there with your handles kind of tucked up and out of the way, but your black and gray water will both empty out right there. This connection right here is going to be for your black tank flush system. So when you are emptying those sewer tanks, you can hook a fresh water hose up to this and turn it on and it will basically spray water into your black tank and help clean it out, help keep your sensors reading correctly. Again, you have another nice bright light there. So if you're doing any of that at night, that'll help you. So the 25W is going to have this nice big exterior storage compartment here. These shelves are removable so you can take one or both of them out to make the compartment configured how you like. <clears throat> Towards the back end of the camper here, you are going to have uh, pre-wired coax connections. So. Um, the camper is satellite and cable prepped, so if you have either of those, it's all prepped for that. This is going to be your city water connection. So if you are camping somewhere where you have access to um, a water spigot, you can just hook your hose right up to there. That's where you'll do it. And then in the very back corner here, you're going to have your 10-gallon suburban water heater. So that'll be operated off of propane or 110 volt electricity. It is a two-way water heater. You do have storage in the bumper for things such as a sewer hose. So there is a cap that comes with it. Your sewer hose can store right in there. The 25W is going to have a hardwired um, power cord. So the power cord is just gonna pull right out of the camper here. Um, it's going to be about 30 feet long and it's going to be a 30 amp power cord. So then when you're done with that, that'll just roll up right inside the camper and store right there. Um, the spare tire does come standard on all of the Arctic Fox travel trailers, um, as well as the receiver hitch down here. Um, so that's going to come standard on all of the Arctic Fox travel trailers. Uh, that's gonna be rated for 250 pounds so good for a bike rack or a storage platform or anything of that nature. You got your ladder to the roof. So it is a full walk on roof. So you can get up on the roof and do multiple things like check the seals, uh, keep your solar panels clear, things like that. And then tucked behind the ladder is just a vent for the hood fan over the stove top inside. This is just going to be venting for your refrigerator venting for your furnace and then lastly right here you are going to have an outside shower um, in the back of the camper so that's going to have hot and cold water here we are on the inside of the 25w arctic fox uh, as you come in the rear door on your right hand side you're going to have a few things here so this is going to be your main control panel for the camper. So these buttons up top, these are going to be your water tank monitors. So basically as you use water in the camper, 
you can just press and hold those buttons and as your water tanks fill up the LED lights will illuminate to show you how full your tanks are. Down here you're going to have the two switches for your water heater so as I mentioned that can be powered off of propane gas or 110 volt electricity so you've got two switches for those respectively. The switch for your water pump is going to be right here so if you are using water from the tank and are going to run your water pump the switch for that is right there. You've got the switch for your porch light which again is just outside the entry door here and then you've got the switch for the entry light so that's going to be your first light as you enter the camper here. The switch for your slide out is going to be on this panel so this camper has one slide out that has the uh, theater seating and some storage in it and then the switch for your power awning to extend and retract that right here. Up above the panel here you're just going to have different light switches for your kitchen, living room, awning light, things like that. And then on the ceiling right here is going to be your solar charge controller. So from the factory um, all Northwoods products are going to come standard with a 45 watt solar panel. Um, you can order additional solar from the factory as well as add even more beyond that um, after the fact. What this controller will do is it'll basically provide a constant readout. It'll show you battery voltage, charge current, things like that. Um, it'll help regulate the current going to the batteries to make sure that those are charged properly. Um, it can also be programmed depending on what type of batteries you have. So you can set it to, for example, wet cell or lithium or HGM, you know, whatever type of batteries you have. So that's right there. On the left side of the entry door as you walk in the camper is going to be your refrigerator. So the fridge is going to be a two-way Norcold refrigerator. So it'll be operated off of either propane gas or 110 volt electricity. It can also be set to automatic so that as you switch back and forth between electricity and no electricity, it'll cycle between the two options on its own. Down below the fridge you are going to have some storage as well as your power station. You're going to have your fuses and circuit breakers nice and easy to access um, right below the fridge there. Here you have your Furion microwave that's going to be powered off of 110 volt electricity. Some nice storage above it. You do have, as we mentioned, a fan and a light um, above the stove top here and that it exhausts outside. You have a three burner gas cooktop as well as an oven. And both the cooktop and the oven uh, will both be lit using these knobs here as well as the direct spark right here. So no need to carry a grill lighter or anything like that because it is just lit using that sparker there. Underneath the oven is going to be the furnace unit itself. So the furnace is ducted throughout the camper through the floor but the unit itself is going to be there underneath the oven. You're going to have your double basin sink. Great for doing dishes or things like that. Some nice storage underneath comes with a complimentary waste basket, easy access to your water heater, you know, the plumbing and the bypass valves for winterization, as well as drawers on both sides there for storage. Um, here's going to be the slide out. Um, so again, that's just controlled on the switch um, on the control panel as you come inside the door. Uh, this camper is going to have the theater seating. So these do recline. Um, you do have some small TV trays that uh, will go in right there. And then some features such as heated seats, um, massage, and then you do have uh, some lights in the seats as well. You do have a bit of storage in here. Center section lifts up. And you do have some nice storage for blankets or things like that. On the passenger side of the camper here, you're going to have your dinette, so obviously great seating, um, but then also this will make into a bed for an extra sleeping area. So there is just a lever underneath that you release, and then this whole tabletop will slide down. You would just pull the cushions out of the way, 
put the tabletop down and then re, re uh, align the cushions to make into extra sleeping. Up above the dinette here, you're going to have your stereo. So the stereo is going to have AM, FM radio, Bluetooth. Um, it's going to be a CD and a DVD player, which is already pre-wired to the TV, so you don't need to mess with any of that. <clears throat> you also, as we mentioned, have indoor and outdoor speakers. Uh, you can control the volume separately from right here. Up above the stereo, you're going to have four switches, and those are all going to be for your holding tank heaters. So these Arctic Fox travel trailers, they are four season campers. Um, you know, just a, a quick summary of what makes them four season. They do have double the insulation as most campers in the industry. They have two inch sidewalls, and four inch ceilings. And they also do come with tank heaters. So those are going to be 12 volt. They work off of the batteries. So in below freezing temperatures, you can just flip those on. And basically the holding tanks each have their own 12 volt heat pad on them that will turn on and help heat the water. Okay, um, against the wall over here, you're going to have the TV that comes with the camper that does um, release and swing out so you can pivot it, you know, depending on if you're sitting in the theater seats or at the dinette, you can swing that however you'd like it. On the wall here is going to be your ther thermostat, so that'll control your furnace and your air conditioner. Lots of storage in the slide out here next to the theater seating. So this big tall cabinet here does have a hanging rod in it. Moving towards the front of the camper, uh, we step into the bathroom. So nice big corner shower, a sink here, light switch underneath. What's nice about this model is you do have another switch for your water pump in the bathroom right here. So, you know, you do have an entry door um, just outside the bathroom here. So if you are traveling and just want to pop into the bathroom real quick, you can pop into the bathroom, turn on the water pump so that you can use things like the toilet and the sink, and then turn it off just right here. So, the bathroom does connect to the bedroom. So it's going to come with a queen size bed. Um, you do have a fantastic fan up above. So that's going to be a two-way fan. It'll blow air in or out. It's going to have three speeds. Um, as we kind of alluded to outside, over beside the bed here, we are going to have a laundry chute that goes into that outside storage compartment where the laundry basket is. You are going to have USB outlets on both sides of the bed. Um, that are going to be powered off of the batteries. So even if you don't have 110 volt power, you still have USB access. And then there are the traditional 110 volt outlets as well. <laughs>